call this meeting of uh, Ohio County Fiscal Court to order. The special call meeting on May the 30th, 2018, 4 p.m. Uh, I'm going to ask Jason to lead us in prayer and place the flag. By your hands up, here. dear Lord, we just ask that you be with us today as we make decisions for our county to help our market county better. Lord, we pray that every time we make a decision, we go for you and, and, we, and we pray and we ask for your guidance and your wisdom, dear Lord. Dear Lord, I pray for Ohio County. I pray for its residents. I pray that we continue to grow and we continue to uh, be a great county, dear Lord. And it's your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, the first thing on the agenda is the... Uh, uh, Y'all had requested this before the reading of the budget, so I'm presenting that to you. Uh, this is subject to approval of the... Uh, of the... Uh, Representative and the uh, Senator, but I don't think there's any problem with it. Uh, they know most of these things is on this list. Um, but I, I present that to you, and uh, uh, and and my, I guess put it in the form of a presentation motion that this would be adopted by res a resolution stating this amount. These amounts and sent to, uh, sent to the uh, to the senator and representative. And if you mm -hmm. see your chip and seal monies on item one and eight, and item they're two over carryover items too. Yeah. No, I mean it's a different. It's a, it's the next year. It's a, it's a year apart. So you got chip and seal money two years in a row. How's that going to be divvied out? It's, it's your chip and sale money, just like it is. But your road formula, like you do the, all of it, uh, at least the 400 of it, the 80s for special projects that I would bring up for recommendation. We get that uh, in July, and Is that correct? Well, if... Maybe before. You want me to? Uh, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, Ann. I want to make sure you all understand the process on the House bill money. This list has to be passed by resolution first. As the judge said, it has to go to our state representative and the senator, and they have to send us back a letter saying they approve it. Then I send it up to Amy Barnes, which most of y'all are familiar with, and then we're ready to go. And the timetable on that is how long? Uh, that shouldn't take a couple of weeks to do that. Okay. Now, we had $266,000 left. It's up there in our pot right now, our LGEDF money. That was left from this end of this two-year cycle. The reason it was left is what I was told, they changed accounting systems, and come March 1, everything was froze, and that money would roll over to the July 1 budget. So we get this passed, get our letters from the senator, July 1, I should be able to send the forms up to Amy and request the 266000 because we know that's there, and that money should come within yeah. two weeks. And it was what was on target for the, the park and the Oceda loan, but we moved them down the list so that, that much of the chip and seal money would be here almost immediately. Okay. So the 260 is not, not included in the 480 of the uh, house yeah, bill? Yes, it is. It is. It's well, just what part would come quicker. Yeah, that's just money in the bank. That sort of come, uh, that would come immediately. The other would they be They basically moved two projects down to free up the money yeah. for the roads. So the would, 266 would be applied towards your 480 yeah. on that. So you, I think from what I'm hearing you all say, you're still concerned of the remaining balance. When would that be available? The next quarterly deposit will be made the 1st to the 15th of August. So the question becomes, what if we need to spend all 480 before we get that? We do have available in the general fund emergency savings, 302,000. The road fund emergency savings, 126,000. So 
That's 694, so the 480 would be covered. Um, almost and immediately, Larry. If this is approved, we can do your chip and seal. Money will be available immediately. I also, uh, in the letters I sent you, I did call Shannon Coots um, at First United that we do the bank with. Uh, just to make sure we have a $200,000 uh, line of credit, if that would be any problem to get that. Uh, she did not think so. Uh, even before we did that, I would think I would look at the general fund and see if there was enough money in there to borrow to do this until we got this money in. Yeah, because how much interest would that be on the $200,000? I think credit? that's the last. Uh, resort we would do what we're paying now is I'm going to say close to four and a half I think that would be a last resort yeah I, I would do that because I don't like to do all that paperwork I think this whole story is to answer the question that this your uh, your uh, road money your chip and sales y'all call it would be available immediately well and we even talked about Ann and I want to talk up today is that hey, we Jim, wouldn't spend that much by the time 30 percent we would never get to that much but well, it wouldn't be 480. He said 80. In a month yeah, time. 400. 400. 400. 400. He said he's going to hold on to 80. For, for every, well, I mean, it goes to road, but it be uh, it won't be part of the formula. It'll be for special projects, which could be to match federal funds and state funds. But it's 120. About a 28.13. Hundred and twelve. Five hundred and twenty. Hundred twelve thousand five. Hundred and twelve thousand five hundred and twenty. So yours is yours is right in that same ballpark. The other two districts don't look so good. Your road money would be the same thing that was in last year's budget. Yeah. But that's that's the complaint I've always had and without sounding greedy, we've had a somewhat more difficult winter than we have had in the past and it's just not going to be enough money to, uh, to fix the roads which I feel like just brings them back to where they used to be. Is there, is there nothing we can do on the, I know that I'm not a big revolving loan fan, um, can we not use that for discretionary, split it six ways, 25,000? Now, we, we don't have any discretionary money in this budget at all. Well, we'll have to look at it as as we come in uh, with the uh, reserves every time at the end of the year when we do that, so we'll get to discretionary. Well, if we pass this, we won't be able to do it till the end of the year then, right? The, this uh, this 150 and this 90 is why I keep telling you I was already committed in the before they, they redid this. This is what we committed before. We moved the road money ahead of it. There's no way we can put that if we don't do that. Could put it in the uh, road money. What's that? The 150. We committed last year to do it this way, and now uh, I bet this is very generous uh, thing for roads here. Uh, Not too good. We can't cut. The <laughs> largest county area-wise in the state. Well, you got it again the following year, and then you got two two pieces of road, yeah, three pieces of road equipment in there. But you got to realize though, is that that compromises what we used to have in the budget. So it's just a swap. It's not any extra. Uh, one question I wasn't clear on from our last workshop here is I have in the budget in the road fund uh, nine hundred and ninety thousand expected from FEMA. At one point when I talked to you all, I was thinking about half of it was hard money for projects that we had to pay someone to do. Is, have we already paid for that, or are there still projects that will have to be paid for to do? I think there will still be some that we have to pay for, like the black top. We have, to take the <coughs> top we have you any idea what that is? We get with him this week. But an uh, overwhelming majority of this is money we've already spent. So About ha half of the end kind labor, I'm sure. And so it's coming yeah, back. We still That's got big money. We for still got there. several <coughs> projects. Of the 900, Kansas 000, Road. He, I think we're comfortable in saying half of it. I don't want to say free money, but it's money we've already spent. So when we get that money, that will be at the discretion of the court. When are we back in the road, son? When are we going to get that? 
the way Charlie has been told is we should get a lump sum in July, August at the latest, kind of some upfront money, and the rest of it within six to eight months. How much do we, we still have as much in road materials as what we did the last budget in this budget? Between the road fund and the LGEA fund, those two combined for construction materials, yes. Okay. It's the same amount. So as soon as the new budget comes in, we'll be able to start yes. buying rock and tiles and stuff. Uh, this, this first thing right here, uh, right? This yeah. road department truck. I kind of hold my breath. That's a, that uh, that's an I can tell you held your breath. I was waiting for the single axle dump truck. August, it's very a, a uh, single axle uh, Kenworth so dump truck. That big check from How's the that road worked from out? The state road been a pretty CRA good one, the one we got. The first part of August. Yeah, but that ain't so. saying much. <laughs> so it could be. <laughs> it's cheaper than the kind of a pinch until August. Yeah. Now, now that one out there looked at it. It's a good little truck with the first well, one we got this right here. Funding. Been no problems with it. Now there's because a possibility that all these projects won't be done. Is that correct? Uh, if, if so, it would be at the bottom. But I, I think not. I believe they'll all be done. I want to, uh, you say we got uh, what FEMA is going to be bringing forth back to us is somewhere around 900. And, That's what I have to uh, I even hate to say this, but Charlie thought it would be more, but I thought let's just leave that in there well, uh, and see what could they be do. We didn't find What's anything up? to kind of shore up any of the retirements for any of the departments, right? <coughs> well, all of the retirement increase came from within each department. Yeah, so but I mean, we didn't find any more. Anyway. We didn't find any more extra money since the last meeting. No. Okay. Hypothetically speaking. If we do get the 900000 back, and I know how FEMA drags their feet, and we're being very optimistic when we start talking about just a month or two. But having said that, of uh, the 450 we get back, uh, what's, how's the court feel about doing the formula on taking that 450 and putting in whether asphalt paving, chip seal patching, or whatever the case may be? I want to make sure, I'm not for sure I remember that whatever the hard numbers are, I mean, we're, you're estimating half. I don't think they have exact numbers, but I think that's close. Yeah, about 440. Yeah. But what, whatever it is, that's yeah. what I'm asking the feeling of the court, how they feel about it, taking that in. Uh, because quite frankly, guys, I've been out on the roads and, and, and they, they took a hit this month. And uh, all I even, though we, even though last year we had $120,000, it, uh, it won't take care of the damage that's been caused by mother nature so well that's, I think, that's the reason and that's all i heard about going door door road, 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 if, road. if you but that would be a possibility it'd be another 400 plus to go into the boat thing and then there's two years in a row you get this but that's not that's not just road money so you could do anything else that you want with that money then uh, I mean, FEMA? yeah. Does it have to go just right into the roads then? Yeah. yeah. So that, that we can't free that up for something else. They come and audit me on that. Okay. Yeah. We'll make sure, because I was going to think maybe we could free up some of the money for this hundred thousand community improvements. What does that consist of? Uh, things like, but not included to things have been requested. The first one out of the bat was a small paving project for the city of uh, Rockport. It also be small projects around the fire departments and things of that nature. Who are we going to, when those projects come up, are we going to vote on them or are they just at your discretion? Well, not, well, you always vote on them in bills and claims. So, yes, I'd say, I'd say the purchase order would be run through the court before we did it. But that was the first and on the list. And the others is from needs, uh, discretion, from requests that we had. Our each department submitted a five-year plan. We scan that five-year plan down and uh, come up with several things that from it. Not everything everybody asked for, by no means, but most of this here came from that plan, including two uh, uh, patrol cars for the first year and two for the second, which is exactly what matches his first two years on his five-year plan. 
I'd still like to see that 150 get divided up six ways for discretionary. We've got to have it for the revolving loan program. It's it's been uh, like I said, it was promised last year. Yeah. Uh, well, Rockport had some coal severance money that was promised to them on one of the coal severance lists yeah. too, and then I had to tell them, well, they got shorted because we run out, and we didn't carry it over to the next one. So. That's happened a lot of times where we don't carry it over. So we yeah. have moved things around. Yeah, but well, I mean, we just dropped. Yeah. Uh, so, but f first of all, uh, so let me tell you the history of this revolving loan program again. Uh, Jason actually came up with the first phase of it. Uh, said, let's try to save some of our cold severance money for the days where there's not any, and so. Uh, we did, and actually, the first when it first went in, it was just called a savings account, and then when OCDA got to going, and seen that there was a need for a revolving loan program, it would become a no-brainer to put the savings account toward that because it was drawing double the interest uh, from their loans. That's what it does if we just got in the bank and savings account. Plus, it is an economic development tool, and every time the economic development uh, scores and recruits business or uh, moves business ahead and it creates new jobs then our occupational tax goes up so it's a win-win it comes right back into the occupational tax anything that they do so we get that above the interest it's getting from the revolving loan program in reality it's still our money it's our savings account but the downside to that that's county money going out at two percent interest, and we buy equipment. We have to pay a lot more than that interest to buy stuff. So that's taking care of your four, four and a half. You said how? Uh, how many jobs has the uh, OCDA created over the years? Does anybody have any idea? And uh, their salaries? How many, I'm what their salaries are. Chase uh, gave his report a few months back about all that. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did uh, well, many jobs. how many on the small? Yeah, if I can, yeah, the report did have the number of jobs created and or saved, which is at this time 67 for the seven loans that we've issued. And I just wanted to take... Is that on the, the seven loans is the revolving loan program? Yes. And how many of those loans did, uh, did uh, they have to terminate due to they went out of business? We did not terminate the loan. Uh, no, they paid it off, but how many right. did did the one. businesses did not make it? One. And we've had one business, uh, you're referring to JNR Bluegrass Barbecue. And they did pay uh, it off. And the, we recently had the Vance Properties, which is Bluegrass Veterinary Services, uh, pay off because they've done so well that they were able to pay it. But there's only been one business loan from OCDA, and it's, and it's the only one business that's gone out of business? Yes. But they did not default. Yeah, they didn't default on their loan. They they paid it back. And, and to you know to clarify that to the public, you know these are loans that are paid back with interest. We're not granting a private entity any money uh, to engage in private business. And I also want to remind the court that this LGEDF fund that you all are are divvying uh, the projects out by, LGEDF stands for Local Government Economic Development. And I'm reading uh, directly from the KRS that uh, this program is to assist eligible counties in diversifying their local economies beyond coal production and meet other community development needs. Created in 1992, the program provides grants to help make communities attractive to new manufacturing and service industries, as well as to help eligible existing businesses expand. Emphasis has been placed on identifying and implementing economic development and more industrial projects they will produce the most and best jobs for the least expenditure of funds. So in my mind, and in the, in the Economic Development Alliance's board's mind, this is the truest to form use of these funds that, that this purpose was created for. And prudent government stewardship is using tax dollars for their original purpose. I understand that you all have immediate needs that, that need to be met uh, depending on weather or other circumstances, but we're not even asking for all of these economic development funds. We're asking for a small portion of them to go for what was its original intent. And the state even re uh, reallocated the, or reset the percentage of how LGEA, which they say that you can use for any type of expense, 
and LGEDF funds are split, transferring more from LGEDA to LGEDF. What's the, what's the impetus behind that? They want coal counties, because of the eventual decline of this non-renewable resource, to wean themselves off of this money and use it more for economic development projects that will help diversify their economies away from that non renewable resource. So I would just urge you to consider that when you're thinking about the use of this money. Like Judge Johnson said, it was set up as a savings account to have, uh, you know, to have some of that money set aside for when the eventual decline does come, whether it's five years from now or 50 years from now. And to put that money uh, to good use, to, to help expand the economy, to, to Magistrate Morphy's point, you know, we do offer these uh, loans at a, at a low interest rate because they're helping create jobs and, and, and grow the economy. With all due respect, uh, a piece of equipment used for infrastructure doesn't necessarily do that in, uh, in the large sense of helping the business grow. And we, you know, we have several projects in mind that, that we want to do out of Bluegrass Crossings to help attract industries here. We got balked at on a $4 million road, uh, a dedicated access road going into Bluegrass Crossings due to the administration change and the shift in, in the Pause 50 program with transportation monies. We did have a distribution plant looking at looking hard at us, and the one thing that they cited as a, as a reason for not locating here was having to drive the residential area. We need to expand, expand the gas capacity at the park. We're eventually going to have to expand the electricity capacity at the park. Which the utilities will, ha will help in, but you're constantly playing this game with the chicken or the egg, where we want as much infrastructure there ready to go as possible to help attract an, an industry, because they're going to want um, to be able to go to market as soon as possible. And, you know, when you think about the impact of our revolving loan program, 67 jobs, that's, that's like a new plant coming here. You know, it may not have the same impact in, in, in the mindset of our public, the general public, because there's not, you know, pictures and hard hats and shovels. But, I mean, that, that has a significant impact. And the community has grown, uh, you know, even, even a good deal outside of the revolving loan program. If you look at the multi-million dollar expansion out of uh, WPT and National Office Furniture, and uh, the one currently underway at NIA, you know, things are moving forward. And, and I feel like, and I, I think my board feels like that we need to be doing more in that regard, not scaling it back. So, What's the average salary of those 67 new jobs? I frankly, Larry, don't have the means to, to accurately <coughs> gather that data. We don't pull that. They weren't all new though, right? They were sustained? Yeah, it's, it's, it's new or saved. Um, and that's another thing is that, you know, we're hoping, I've applied for a $99,000 grant from USDA, which we've done in the past several years. We got $100,000 to capitalize the revolving loan fund a couple years back. Then we turned around and leveraged that and got the 100 to uh, purchase or to renovate the hub uh, here in Hartford. And then last year we got 99,000 to do a coding boot camp to help give our people uh, tech job opportunities that can be done remotely from here in Ohio County to expand the employment opportunities beyond what's either here in the county or within a morning and afternoon drive. And we're applying again this year for both training money and money to provide uh, uh, personnel assistance to hire uh, an assistant director. I've been uh, operating this organization as, as its executive director for about three and a half years. Uh, we operated the first year without any assistant. For the second and, and latter, uh, or better part of the third, we contracted with a local company for administrative assistance. And since we terminated that contract last fall, we've been fortunate to have a work to learn for, uh, person. Uh, operating as an administrative assistant out of the hub. But, you know, in uh, last year, the county supported economic development efforts uh, to the tune of $126,000. This year, uh, as you all know, you, you passed a resolution in support of the TVA bill, which brings TVA in lieu of tax money back down to the TVA counties, which we are one of. Um, that was put in place of our operating expenses and hub utilities and, and, and hub maintenance, which actually decreased uh, the county's liability, or not liability, but contribution to economic development to $91,000. So at, at that level, you know, your federal, federal money is going to be funding economic development in Ohio County more than the fiscal court is. And I know ordinances can change, but I'll remind you that when OCEDA was created and the ordinance was put into place, 
and said that at least $150,000 of occupational tax money would go into economic development efforts every year. And again, occupational tax was passed to help attract Purdue and to further more economic development efforts. And I understand that, that as it is today, that we could not operate our general government operations without the occupational tax and coal service monies. But I just want to remind you all of what the original intent of those monies were when they were passed. And to whether you're in support of the revolving loan program or not, um, you know, letting that money be used for its intentional purpose, uh, original intent uh, and not scaling back at this time, but we're seeing things ramp up and we need to be doing more instead of doing less. Okay, thank you, Chase. Chase, um, you say the business that you saved and the ones that started are doing very well. Would you say that? Yeah. Would, what is, what are we currently paying interest? And this is back to Larry's point. When we borrowed money and borrowed money on the chipper, what did we, what kind of interest do we pay? Yeah. About four and a half percent. My question to you is, if, if this revolving loan, and I don't have a big problem, other than that I agree with Mr. Morphew, that when we're letting money out at two percent and we're paying four and a half, and the company's doing well according to what you're saying, why not uh, take it before the board and see if they can't raise that particular interest up uh, to four and a half, at least to the point to what we're having to pay out. Well, the, the revolving loan fund's interest rate is adjusted annually, uh, but it is pegged at 75 percent of prime, which, you know, in, in the past year, the Fed raised the prime rate uh, four times, I believe. But it is intentionally left below prime uh, as an incentive to help these people getting their start or undergoing expansion to spur them on onto that instead of waiting, or in the case that they may not be able to secure that, that whole financing package uh, by a traditional bank, and they need help you know, from, from some other organization. So it is an incentive. That, that is well, it would be for me if I, if I was a business individual that wanted to get involved in something at 2% interest where you won't find it anywhere. I'd be 100% I'd be involved. Well, it's currently 338, just to update you on what the interest rate is. Uh, so it's, it's, it was originally 228, or 22, two, yeah, I believe 228, but it's, it's 338 right now. So we do keep it floating. With so it's, it's raised a uh, percent since last year? Since the beginning of the program. Oh, okay. Raised. Okay. Thank but the, the, you know the purpose of you, you're asking yourselves why are we lending money to businesses at a cheaper rate than what we have to borrow? At? And the answer for that is because they are undertaking activities that are that are growing our economy and growing our tax base. Infrastructure, yes, is important. Uh, it is the bedrock of anything that we do, but. You know, a, a new piece of equipment isn't necessarily growing our economy. No, but the thing, Trace, that I wanted to point out, <clears throat> y'all have got 120 in your bank account. You're wanting another 150. And right now, there's stuff we can't do to my roads because we're out of money. And we've been out of money for a little while. And we're sitting and waiting for money to come back in. And when we do finally get the money, we've got plenty of projects to do. So we've got $14.5 million, and I'm trying to figure out where we're going to get some some money plus over the years the road department has dwindled down from 21 full-time people down to 17 so you know I'm just looking at what's the need for the county and, and in my district and my, my and I would like to have a, a list of of the the loans that you've got out and then how many jobs each loan was saved or new I have that on the computer and I can give it to you you know, right after meeting, that'd be great. Provided to, uh, I think, in my last quarterly report. But you know, my, my response to, to your statement would be that, at the very least, this this fund was set up as a savings account, to where let's set aside this money to where, and the and the intent of a revolving loan fund is that the principal and interest is repaid and then loan back out. And the original ordinance stated uh, stated that. Uh, the fiscal court would fund this program to a million dollars and then from there let it revolve itself. You know, that we would get about 150 back, depending on the terms of the loans. We do between five and 15 year loans. And the money, we only use the money that was coming back in in principal and interest for the new loans. We're not going to keep coming back and coming back and asking for more. Let's just set that up and let it revolve. 
if you don't make the commitment to fund it, there, there's always going to be an immediate need to the, the, something that you'd like to do or something that you'd like to have. But that's you know that's why you you know even in your personal lives you set up a savings account uh, to to you know help with whatever might come along. And what might come along in, the, in regards to county government is the decline of coal. So. And that, that's the whole purpose of this money is to use it, you know, basically, you know, if you're not going to use it, at least sit on it and have it ready for when that day comes. Don't just spend it and then when that day does come, say, what are we going to do? We're, you know, we're hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt and we're not going to be able to support you know, any of these functions. And OCDA has helped us diversify that way to where we're not as dependent on coal. And like I said, there, there's more that we can do. So in, in its very least, you know, look at it as a savings fund just to set money aside. Even though I know there's more that you, you know, could do or want to do, to set that money aside for economic development purposes, whether today or a year from now. Hmm. Get that million dollars there as quickly as possible. And, you know, you say we've got a, a 140. It's actually more than that. But, you know, we have a potential client that I'm working with right now that could be asking for the maximum allowable 150. So, you know, it's sort of comes and goes and I don't, I don't, you know, you have to think that it could, it could go pretty quick uh, in a matter of two or three loans and then, you know, what do we do then? And we recently closed out a marketing campaign and we've had a lot more interest in the program uh, from that. So, like I said, you know, we have momentum building and I implore you that now is not the time to, to clip those wings but to, to help support it even more. Okay. Thank you. And by the way, Joe, you're talking about Joe, you're talking about road being money being available. Well, the passage of this house bill thing will make a money uh, available, uh, available immediately by passage here, and the and the senator and the representative signing off on it. And I can't imagine them not; they've never failed to. So at this minute, I'm going to put this uh, house bill project list before you for a vote to uh, send to the to the um, representative and the. Senator, and I'll make that motion. I need a second. We'll be buying it to airport equipment. They've got a bunch of things involved. They'll be doing grants and things, mm -hmm. and this is their interest. Uh, they're they're matched to match all the things they're trying to get. Match for the grants. Mm -hmm. Do I have a second? Second. Second, the same. Miranda. Barnes. No. Johnson? Yes. Cam? No. Morphew? No. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Okay. okay, let's move right along. Uh, since the last time we was here, there's been no changes to the budget. Uh, and wanted to put one small amendment in it to do what was it? Um, we had notification yesterday that money was approved for Chick Road. Is that what it is? Yes. Yeah, Chick Road. Sixty-one thousand ninety-eight dollars. Um, we still have to do the resolution, the contract, and get all that. So probably in July or August we'll be ready. And I don't want to have to amend the money in, so I'd like to just add that to the road department budget. And it is specific That's the money. restricted money. Okay. So that would be the only change that, is that I would add this money. Is it governor's discretionary or something? Yes. Yes. I've got the email if you need to. It's real good on another good block of just governor's discretionary fund money. It looks like we may get in the next few days. But I don't know I don't understand it, but let's what we when go was, doing this. When was that one? Uh, when was that one filed? We filed for it a while back. Okay. Uh, one judge, you got to keep in mind is old New Cut Road, and I it had is. I had Scotty's to run your run your price on the place. It is. I'm looking for uh, special okay. money for that. Yeah, and shooting for state. So other than that, the budget is exactly the same as it was the last time. Okay. But that, uh, with not passing that, that does stall up our being able to get this money on down that y'all want. Uh, 
Okay, the next thing I've got on the agenda is first reading the budget with a small change of adding the Chick Road into it. Uh, so I make a motion to approve that. Second. Second by Jason. Miranda. Barnes. No. Johnston. Yes. Cam. No money's in the budget for. No. Nope. It was here, Larry. If you'd pass that, it was there plenty stuff. of it. A lot of other stuff here, too. Yeah. No. Morphew? No. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Okay. With that note, both those motions failed, but on a tie vote, you'll write that down. So this process now, what do you do? Call DLG and send it to them and let them look at it? Well, I truly believe that I've in good faith uh, negotiated this. If any of these guys that are opposed to it wants to come and talk to me about it, I would be glad to. Uh, I've, uh, I haven't heard a reasonable thing. Uh, Joe made several suggestions, and I actually did them for him, thinking that it, the, he would vote for the budget. Uh, uh, I'd had several comments with uh, conversations with, with Larry Morphew, and uh, I got some things there that he wanted in the budget, so I thought he would vote for it. So uh, it's, it's where it is. I do not know. I want to invite you to, each of you, to come and talk to me about it. Uh, you have the doors open. You can set the time. You come talk to me about it. And uh, uh, if there's not a special call meeting next week, which it could be, if not, I will uh, be on the agenda for the first meeting in June, which actually is going to make it a problem for us timetable. Can you not just go ahead since we voted twice and send it to DLG and let them look at it and have them prove it, come back and say it's a fair budget? I do not know. Because we've had a week because to make changes. In, I know. Somebody, did they make call you to make I know, changes? I know. In good, no. in good okay. faith, I've waited, though, for this meeting so that Ann could explain because one of the contentious points Jason, was now, the no money problems was, I had with it last time. I know, and there were and we, there's we a whole list of changes. We have, we have no. There was, there was a list of changes. Fourteen and a half changes. million dollar budget. That's right. And the only thing that we changed was we cut twenty thousand dollars out of the golf course that I brought up. Well, we, we also moved stuff moved, in the LGA fund. We too. moved some money around. Yes, that's, that's fine. You had a week to call. Yeah. Check on. I just wish we could go ahead and send a deal. But nothing LGA. changed. I got one of the. There were things changed in it last time that you guys voted no for, and that's fine. You have your choice, but at this point, it looks like we're. Can we go ahead and send it off and let them yeah, look at it? Yeah, send it off. I'd like for the state. Between us and you, Jason, you've got the city of Beaver to take care of your roads. And I don't. I'm not saying anything. We put more is. money in roads than anything here, just about. If you look and, and, in uh, the budget, you all were concerned difference. about not getting it now. We found a way for you to get your money now. But anyway, let's move on. I've got a third, almost a third of the road, road. David, on this 480 up here. No discretionary money? Let's be specific. five ways. No six. Take care of your fire department. gives me about a hundred. Out of your discretionary money, no discretionary money. Well, uh, then this half a million. We got changes. Make some suggestions. I'll change it. It's coming in well, I can feel these. I've already made some suggestions today. Look at it. I don't have that problem. Just send it on to the state and see what they got to say about it. Well, I'm, all, I'm, all I'm trying to do is patch it. That's, you know, that's what I'm trying to it's achieve. It's my understanding you have to have first I'll be very lucky if I do. That's fine. I mean, well, I'm just well, saying it looks I'll, like we're on the thing, I'll, I'll, I'll agree to that on Still. the... Uh, and on nobody's the, uh, calling the check, so my money. we need to... Uh, but I need a little something of that. These. But don't FEMA for hundred whatever coming in. But yeah, okay. I guess I guess my point is you're getting as much as I'm getting, and I got two hundred miles. Well, I know I know, but you're going to get at least well, a fifth of that. Well, yeah, I don't know whether you're or not. That's, uh, that's well, you can do it like you did my discretionary money last time. Yeah, we did. I can road formula for the part that I get, uh, and I can say where that part of the, each district goes. Would you do it by a road formula of the eighty thousand? Yes, road that's what I say. Yes, what I say. And yeah. put if eighty thousand and twenty-two is my part, then that'll go into the fourth yes. district. Yes, but I'll get to say where that part goes. Yeah, I don't have a problem. In your district, I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Well, would you reconsider these two items then? If I bring, if I present them again. Well, I don't. I don't want to drag this out. The next thing we do, uh, the state will be down here telling us what to do. Okay. We'll, we'll run some discretionary money. 
We, we, we do that when... We, well, that in a way that is road discretionary, but... No, I'm talking about... We you do told that, me before... We do I, that in no, July whenever we see what's left over. When I've bay. had to help my fire departments, and y'all say, well, that's up to the master to take care of it out of the fire departments. And I've got three fire departments yeah. and a substation in my district. Now, that's, and I've got no discretionary well, money to help. That's a total different thing. We do that in July when we see what's left out of this budget. Every year that's what we've done. It really does not address in the budget. We always redo it at the at the uh, in July when we look at that. When all the books are closed out for this count, this count, uh, fiscal year, we look at. Okay, I'm gonna make another motion. Uh, Joe, did David explain on the eighty thousand dollars? No, I can hear you. Eighty thousand dollars that he's keeping is split up in the road formula, but he has discretion where it goes. But it has to go in that particular district, whatever the road formula is. Yes. For example, now I that's did eighty thousand. I did Magnolia Lake in yours last year. Uh, I doubled. Uh, I did uh, with Sam. We did Kavanaugh with uh, Joe. We did Woosley and something, uh, and part of uh, Rob Roy. Not Rob Roy. Uh, no, I mean you split that Rob Roy and Woosley. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's why I said that's where my part for that district went. Joe's over here. And uh, uh, I d what did I do? I did uh, patching on uh, uh, on uh, Beta and Chink because uh, that other thing fell but through. Can we? Uh, can we? Uh, this is budget. Can we put forth? Some motions to assure that. Uh, okay, let me. Uh, well, let me do that on the FEMA money. Whatever is uh, directed back to Wild County, the reimbursement of what we spent, uh, then what is not. Now, we've already spent it out of the road department, plus right. the in kind labor. So right. That, what, what, but now we're only going to probably get half that, you know. It'd be still be four and some thousand. Four, yeah. right, yes. But why are we just getting half? Because we've got to pay some of it. Some of it's submitted for projects yeah. that's not done yet on the road. Okay. I think that would be paid projects, possibly ER trucking. But now we've already paid for. Not all of them. I don't think you've got we've all We've already paid for a lot of the materials. There's, that's there's what we said a while ago. Yeah, but there's also some projects that hadn't even been started. Yeah. That was turned in, and you're gonna have to do the project. You yeah. turned in, and got money for it. But very realistically, you'll get 450, so back on from that you can do what you said with. Well, uh, <coughs> I was trying to think. Yeah, but when are we gonna get this? Would it be cold weather? Or? Uh, hopefully not. But we're freeing up all this other ahead of time, so. I'd like to say something to him to help just a little bit, but if I remember right, Charlie says that we're in some new type of program with FEMA, and there's just maybe just a few counties that's even in it, and he talked like we'll get our money quicker. So that's a plus. I guess before I make my motion, I'd like to know, I'd like to have some kind of general idea of how much money is that we're, that's coming back to us. Yeah. Well, they just... I have budgeted 990 that I'm... Charlie's comfortable with that. Oh, who we had on our projects as far as what's been done and what's not been done and what kind of money is we looking like there? I'd have to go over all of it before I need to But we're 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 we are 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 then a half million dollars would be put in the road fund uh, by formula for uh, for chip and seal blacktop and whatever whatever the magistrate decides to do. Okay. Can I can I I say well, I'm I'm fine, but can, do we have to say because we don't know we're going to have a half a million? I mean, we know we're going to be close. Can we well, I think you'll say up, over? up to of what's left out of the FEMA money. I think you. I think. Because I don't have FEMA projects anyway. I mean, so. No, that's why you can't nail down the exact number, but yeah. according to what Ann is budgets, it's, it's going to be about that probably. So it could, it could, be, it could be that. Your district and Joe's district. Yeah. Now you still like Joe's? No. No. Joe's I've done. Got one yeah, it's that's big tile, a lot of riprap, probably some good bit of rock. 
bank sliding in. It just okay. hasn't well, the whole, only problem I've always had is trying to get more money just to bring the roads back to park. Uh, and, uh, so if, if you're saying that I would go along with it, let me, let me repeat back to you what you said. <laughs> that if we take the FEMA money, and 500,000 or better. Or, 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 yeah, and divide it by the districts. Uh, then we do that. Then you would, and, and that we take this eighty thousand here and make it go by formula. But it's, but my, I say where it goes. But for, but it go by formula. Then if you did that, you'd vote for this list in the budget. Sure. Okay. You want to go ahead and uh, this. Okay. Let me get the motions. In th the this is a special call, and you'll have to do this again at the next meeting. Just as one motion, not the rest of them. But it will, if we pass it now, we're going to pass it then. Why, why can't we just do it now? Okay, space. let's do it and it's see if it'll the, fly. It's on the agenda. I mean, it's on the agenda. It okay. has to do with budget anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Since it's we're on saying the agenda. It goes, okay. Do you have an idea of what he's talking about? Yes, $500,000 better. And I'll send the motion to y'all before I put it in the minutes. Will that work? Yeah. Make sure everybody's happy with it. Yeah. Okay, that thing we're going to get discretionary at the end of the year? If what there is left over. What's left over, Ryan? You're comfortable going to get involved. Would you need to get involved? Our surplus in July? Not much. Rose Park is what we know. Walk places. Rose Fund, I'm for sure. You don't have a ballpark, you know. You'll be lucky to have $100,000. $100,000. I was out of the road department today. He's got. I'll do it this way, Larry. I moved the road department equipment up above it. But I won't move yeah, it down. I won't switch the place. I'll move this one into this position. It'll come forward. Okay. It's I, almost the same thing you say. Well, no, because you got another one down here, road department equipment. You got two of them that's below that. If well, you move that below them, I'll vote for it. Well, I moved it below one of them. Yeah. Well, well you moved it below one. what? Below the one uh, uh, Which one revolving loan. Move what? The 90,000 a truck. The Kenworth truck just above the uh, revolving loan, just the one of them. He was going to swap it with nine. That would move it way down the list. You said it's going to get it anyway. Yeah, I know, but we may need the revolving loan money quicker than we do the other truck. It don't need to go. Don't nothing need to move in front of Oceda. Okay. Period. Okay. Simple let, fact being is. Let, it's let, over okay. Place. Let's vote on Larry's motion. On the theme. Do I have a second? I'll second the motion. Second the Larry, will you repeat <laughs> Read it again. One more no, all it, all it says is the money that comes back from paying anything above the half million dollars, if it is a half million or above what we get back, she's got budgeted nine fifty. Uh, that particular money goes into a blacktop and a chip and seal or a patching or whatever you want to do. Oh, yeah. Per district. That's even better well, yeah, than I heard. Five percentage. What? Five percent. Five percent. Okay. We got a motion and set. Just go in roll call. All right. Barnes. This is on the budget too? Or just on that motion? We're no, just, just on that motion. motion. On that motion. For the list first. It's going to be based on the road formula per district. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Count. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Okay, that motion carries. Now then, I'm presenting again the 200 money uh, with the uh, stipulation that the 80,000 of that would go by road formula at uh, with the purchase orders to be issued by the judge executive on that 80,000 part of it. By, but the road by, road, by road formula. The other four hundred thousand goes to the point. It goes we, to we yeah. Y'all say where it goes. Okay, uh, it's presented again. I have a second again, Sam. Roll call. Barnes. No. Johnson. Yes. Count. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Pull up. Yes. Okay, that motion carries. Now I present to you again the 
budget 2018-19 is presented to you plus the Chick Road uh, addition which is totally funded by the state. It's just flow through on that. I'll second my motion again. Second by Jason. Roll call again. Barnes. No, I've got to have some discretionary money. Johnson? Yes. Kim? Yes. Mark you? No. Small? Yes. A lot? Yes. Motion carries the first reading of the budget 2018-19. It's approved. Uh, Joe, did, did Renetta give you the wage scale? I have a oh, I'm sorry, Sam. Uh, wage scale. I make a motion to replace 2017 wage scale with 2018-19 employee wage scale effective July 1, 2018, for all county departments except clerk and sheriff who set their own wage scale. And I'll give this to you when we get that. Okay. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second by Joe Barnes. Any further discussion on the wage scale? Being none, colleague. Barnes. Second. Now that, that, that is the CPA. Okay. It's the second. Excluding season. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Johnson? Yes. Yeah. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. And I'd like to make another motion. Okay. <laughs> I make a motion to implement and adjust current employee wages according to the 2018-19 employee wage scale effective July 1, 2018 for all county departments except clerk and sheriff who set their own wages. You hear that? That just implements it. Right. It's, it's already in. And just you all Put it into uh, effect. The last court meeting. And it's going into effect when? July 1st. July 1st. I'll second. Miranda. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. 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 Small? Yes. Small? Yes. Okay. Bullock? Yes. Okay. Uh, you pass that to Miranda, please. Pass to, here's, here's your motion. But anyway, I will. Uh, Call, uh, adjourn this meeting. I just like to say something. I know we can't act on it, but I wish all the masters to be considering this. Uh, the honor guard, their old vans down, and they gonna have to buy a new one if we can come up with a little money to help them. That's a pretty worth worthwhile cause. And so just put it in your. Uh, to all be thinking about. Certainly is. They they take their own time. And I know when Dad died, they come up down Twenty One Guns to do this. Yeah, I won't uh, have a bit problem. Here. And uh, I'm on the honor guard. I know y'all knew that or not. I never see you. Well, my Kitty, when I come into this office a little while, the my coat, the buttons and buttonholes put <laughs> matching. <laughs> I'm what I'm there you go. Uh oh, what's that? Get the jail, man. There you go. Okay. Good. Thanks, Rip. He don't say a lot.